Hello, I am Seamus Dunahoo of EVE University, and this is episode 22 of How to Survive EVE Online. We're going to finish up the business chain. So, go to Neocom, Journal, Balancing the Books 9 of 10, right-click, Start Conversation. And this is technically a trade mission. Our agent wants us to obtain two units of one Mega Newton Afterburner 1 and bring them to him. He doesn't care how we get them as long as we get them to him. I happen to have a spare one Mega Newton Afterburner 1 here. I suppose I could strip another one off of my Velator, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to instead right click, view market details, find the cheapest one in station. If you're feeling particularly cheap, you can go a jump or five out and get uh, the less expensive uh, afterburners. Careful with the really long trips though. Right click, show location, and set destination just to verify that the journey is all high security. There are isolated high security pockets that you can only get to by going through low security, and isolated high security orders will still show up on the market. By the way, just as a reminder, you should have probably gone to the settings tab and turned off display orders in low security systems so that you don't accidentally buy things in low security space. So you can go a few jumps out if you want to. You know how to right click an entry on the market set destination, you know how to left click the menu icon for the solar system, go to any of the objects, and select add waypoint. You know how to do that. I'm not going to do that, but if you want to buy a cheap version elsewhere, uh, you, uh, you know how to do that. I'm just going to buy the cheapest uh, afterburners in station, because I'm up to 1.4 million isk now. So if I spend... 25,000 isk on afterburners, it's not going to hurt me. It is significantly above the regional average, so the game will ask for confirmation. But yes, I want to buy those. Accept the mission. Complete the mission. And request the last mission of the business chain. He wants 5,000 units of small antimatter charges. And technically this is also a trade mission, but he'll give you a blueprint copy to manufacture the small antimatter charges with. Uh, I'm going to take the fast route. I'm going to right click, view market details, look for the cheapest antimatter charges in station, and I expect to need some of more of these charges, so I'll get 6,000 instead of 5,000. I will click buy. Close the market, accept the mission, uh, the game will give you text again about manufacturing, and complete the mission, and we are done with the business chain. You still have the blueprint copy that the agent gave you in case you want to do some more man some manufacturing with it. So we finish the business chain. If you decide you want to manufacture the charges, then show right click and show info every run of this blueprint makes 100 antimatter charges so you'd have to run this 50 times the manufacturing time is a little over four minutes so four minutes times 50 runs that's 200 minutes it'll take you about three to three and a half hours to manufacture all of those so you'd have to come back in three three and a half hours if you wanted to wait for the manufacturing job to complete you would also need to obtain a significant quantity of tritanium, pyrite, and noxium. Tritanium and pyrite you can mine from the Scordite asteroids here in Clolanon, or you can jump, go one jump over in Luce. Noxium you might have to buy off of the market, but you know how to right-click a mineral from the blueprint, look for the cheapest mineral in station, and buy that. So either of those methods work. We are done with the business chain. I'm not going to get started this episode on the military chain. That'll be the subject of the next episode. But the industry and the business agents both gave you an Iteron class, Galente Industrial, as a reward for completing each chain. And if you show info on the Iteron and you read the description, 
you'll find that this is basically a cargo hauler. Uh, in the attributes, you'll see that it has a cargo capacity of 3,000 cubic meters. If you study the attributes, you'll also realize that it's considerably slower than your Navitas frigate. By about a factor of two, currently. Though your Navitas is probably currently being slowed down by the fact that you have expanded cargo holds attached to the thing. Without these modules, your Navitas frigate can push 373, the Iteron can push 125. It's also a more massive ship, so it turns to align to warp can much more slowly. Uh, but it's a good cargo hauler. The problem is that it requires Galente Industrial Level 1, and you are not allowed to train any racial industrial skill on trial accounts. Don't rush off to uh, upgrade to a full account yet, unless you're already impressed with the game as is. Uh, but if you're still not sure, uh, then indeed do not rush off to upgrade to a full account yet. Finish the rest of the tutorial chains and then decide how you feel about the game. You can always sell these Iterons on the market. Iterons are something that players do manufacture. They buy them, they sell them, they lose them, they get blasted to smithereens. So you can sell these Iterons if you want. And you can always buy Iterons off the market later if you decide that you really do need an industrial ship and you're going to upgrade to a full account and you're going to train up Galente Industrial or whatever racial industrial you choose. In the next episode, we will get started on the military chain. In the meantime, thank you for watching.